Hello everybody. In today's video I will show you an extension that can be used in a loop. Until now the iteration and the direction in which an internal table is run through was predefined. With the step extension these two properties can be customized. I've already prepared a program here and I will use the table as carrier for my example today. So first I declare an internal table of type LTS carrier and an internal structure LSS carrier. Then I select the entries from the table as carrier into my internal table LTS carrier then I loop over LTS carrier and write every single record in the structure LS carrier. And I write this structure in every loop out. So let's activate and run this. Then we see the entries from the database table as carrier. Okay. So let's start with the extension step. I can write this here after the loop, step two, for example. So if I activate the code now and we run the code now, we should only see every second record. So we start with American Airlines and the next should be Air Canada, but it's Air France here. Okay, so I think we should sort the entries from the table as carrier by carrier name and I do the same in my code. So I go back in the code and I write here uh, order by carrier name. So then step two and now we start with Air Berlin then the next the next second one is Air France then Alitalia British Airways Delta Airlines and so on. Okay, then we can change the direction. So I write here minus two. Then we start from the back. We start with United Airlines. United Airlines, then South African Airlines, Qantas Airways, Lufthansa, Japan Airlines and so on. Then we go back in the code and we can also set an offset here. So we can we can say that we start from record six from American Airlines, for example. If we run the code now, we see we start from the sixth record, American Airlines, and then again, step two, Continental Airlines, Japan Airlines, Lufthansa and so on. Next, what we can do is um, we can use a where clause as well. So I write here uh, step one and where care ID, for example, contains string A. So and now we see all the records with where the care ID contains the letter A. And if we, if we use the where clause here, we can only use the step one or minus one. So not two, for example. Yes, so I have not yet used or needed this extension. At the moment, I can't think of a use case where something like this might be needed. Do you have any ideas? Yes, at the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.